Hi my dear students, welcome back to my channel. In this video, you will be learning multiple choice questions from the lesson metals and non-metals. This is multiple choice question, science series 3. In the previous series, I had read 30 questions from the lesson metals and non-metals. Let us continue the further questions from the same lesson. I request all the students to watch these multiple choice question series and also share with your friends. Without delaying, let us start today's first question that is the first question. Which of the following oxide cannot be reduced with the carbon to obtain the metal? And options are manganese oxide, chromium oxide, aluminium oxide and option D is all the above. Here the question you have to read carefully. They are asking which of the following oxide cannot be reduced. Okay. So can be reduced, cannot be reduced. You have to properly note it down. Okay. And here manganese oxide, chromium oxide, aluminium oxide, all these oxides, they cannot be reduced with the carbon to obtain their metal. Because you already have learned about the metals in their reactivity series. Few metals can be reduced with the help of oxygen. Few can be reduced with the help of carbon. Few have to undergo electrolytic refining. Okay. And the question number 32. Which is correct order as per reactivity of metals? Option A. Zinc is greater than iron. Is greater than copper. Is greater than silver. Option B. Iron is greater than zinc. Is greater than copper. Is greater than silver. Option C. Copper is greater than zinc, is greater than iron, is greater than silver. Option D. Zinc is greater than copper, is greater than iron, is greater than silver. And the correct option is option A because zinc is more reactive than iron and iron is more reactive than copper and copper is more reactive than silver. So this is the correct order. Question number 33. Although metals form the basic oxides, which of the following metals form an amphoteric oxide? You should know what is meant by amphoteric oxide. Amphoteric oxides means they are the metal oxides which react with both acids as well as bases. And the correct option here is aluminium. The options given are aluminium, calcium, sodium, copper and the correct option is aluminium. Question number 34. Which of the following non-metal is a good conductor of electricity? See here the options are graphite, phosphorus, hydrogen, bromine. And the correct option is option A, graphite. Graphite is a non-metal and it is also a good conductor of electricity. Question number 35. Which among the following alloys contain mercury as one of its constituent? Stainless steel, alnico, solder, zinc amalgam. You have already studied about the alloys in the metals and non-metals lesson. Stainless steel is an alloy of chromium and nickel. I have studied about their respective alloys. So here zinc amalgam contain the mercury as one of its constituent. Okay. So zinc amalgam is correct answer. Question number 36. Two statements are made. Statement A. The luster of a metal is due to the presence of free electrons. Statement B. Metals conducts heat. And the options are statement A is correct only, statement B is correct only and option C, statement A and B both are correct and option D both are incorrect. Actually statement A and statement B both are correct because metal have the lustrous property because there are free electrons in it and also metals conducts heat. It's a good conductor of heat and electricity. Question number 37, which of the following oxide of iron would be obtained on prolonged reaction of iron with the steam? You have learned about the action of steam on metal in this lesson. Okay, hope you all have remember. Okay, here the correct answer is ferric oxide. Question number 38, which of the following is true? Option A, color of basic copper carbonate is green. Option B, malchite is a ore of copper. Option C, aluminium is more reactive than copper. And option D, all the above. Here all the statements are correct. I have not learnt about the malachite, but malachite is a ore of copper. 
and aluminium is more reactive than copper this statement is also correct question number 39 the ability of metals to draw into thin wire is known as so this property of metal is known as ductility metal has so many properties ductility malleability and all so drawing into thin wire this property is ductility question number 40 what happens when calcium is treated with water and some of the options in the question are it does not react with the water it reacts violently with the water it reacts less violently with the water pools of hydrogen gas formed stick to the surface of calcium and the correct answer is option d because statement 3 and statement 4 are correct with respect to calcium when calcium is treated with the water it reacts very it reacts less violently with the water not like sodium and the bubbles of hydrogen gas which is released here also will stick to the surface of calcium so option d that is statement 3 and statement 4 is correct the next question is which of the following metals occur in their pure state and the options are copper iron zinc and gold gold will always occur in their pure state other metals has to be refined or extracted next question silicon is used in options are solar energy devices semiconductors transistors and option d all of these and the correct answer is all of these you might have heard that there is silicon batteries and uh, semiconductor or all and the semiconductors also contain silicon transistors also have silicon in it next question which of the following is a noble metal noble metal please note it down option a copper option b iron option c gold and option d aluminium and the correct option is option c gold 45 when a metal is added to dilute hydrochloric solution there is no evolution of gas which is the metal is and the metal is silver because when silver is added to hydrochloric acid there is no liberation of gas when sodium potassium zinc when it is added to hydrochloric acid we can see there is release of hydrogen gas but when silver is added to hydrochloric acid hydrogen gas will not be evolved next question number 46 removal of impurities from the ore is known as dash this is called as concentration of ore and the options are crushing and grinding concentration of ore calcination and roasting you have already learned about the definitions of calcination and roasting here we are removing the impurities so when impurities are removed from the ore that process is known as a concentration of ore next question concentrated sulfuric acid acts as options are oxidizing agent dehydrating agent option c is both a and b and option d is none of these and the correct answer is option C, both A and B. Okay, it acts as a dehydrating agent because it absorbs the water. Okay, it absorbs the water from the sugar, paper, wood or cloth. So, it acts as a dehydrating agent. Also acts as a oxidizing agent because when it is concentrated, it gives the nascent oxygen and it also forms the sulfurous or and it also forms the sulfurous acid. And next question is nature of sulfur dioxide is whether it is basic, acidic, amphoteric, neutral. And the correct answer is acidic because sulfur dioxide is acidic in nature. Next question number 50. Heating of concentrated ore in the absence of air for conversion into oxide ore. It is known as. So what is this method known as? This method is known as calcination options are roasting calcination reduction none of this you know that under calcination constant you know that under calcination carbonate ore is heated strongly in the absence of air okay and next question is which of the following metal will not displace hydrogen from the steam dilute acids and alkalis so here the options are iron zinc mercury calcium and the correct answer is option C, mercury. Mercury will not displace the hydrogen gas from the steam, dilute acid as well as the alkalis. 
and the next question is which reducing agent is used in the chemical reduction options are carbon carbon monoxide aluminum and none of these here none of the chemicals are used as a reducing agent and the next question what is anode mud options are fan of anode option b metal of anode option c impurities collected at anode in electrolysis during purification of metals and option d all of these and the correct answer is option c impurities collected at anode in electrolysis during the purification of metals when a non metal reacts with chlorine it forms options are an ionic chloride is formed a covalent chloride is formed option c a tetra chloride is formed option d a di chloride is formed and the correct answer is a covalent chloride is formed it is because non metals form covalent chlorides by sharing the electrons with the chlorine that is the reason a covalent chloride is formed next question number 55 which of the following methods are suitable for preventing an iron frying pan from rusting hope this is a repeated question and the correct answer is applying a coat of zinc because this process is called as galvanization options are applying grease applying paint applying coat of zinc and applying and all of the above and the correct answer is applying a coat of zinc next question is out of the following which cannot be obtained by electrolysis of aqueous solution of salt and options are silver magnesium copper chromium and the correct answer is magnesium magnesium cannot be obtained by electrolysis of aqueous solution of salt question number 57 aluminum is used in thermite welding because options are aluminum is a light metal aluminum has a more affinity for oxygen option c aluminum is a strong oxidizing agent and option d aluminum is a reactive metal and the correct answer is option b aluminum has more affinity for oxygen question number 59 the best malleable metal is options are aluminum silver gold and lead and the correct option is option c gold next question the process of extraction of metal from its ore it is known as concentration calcination purification metallurgy and the correct answer is metallurgy options are concentration calcination purification and metallurgy and the correct answer is metallurgy not the purification next question the process to heat the ore in the presence of excess supply of air below its melting point is called options are roasting calcination smelting liquidation and the correct answer is roasting you all know about the definition of roasting it is a process where sulfide ores are heated in the presence of oxygen next question stainless steel is usually made by alloying the iron with options are iron and copper copper and chromium copper and nickel and option d chromium and nickel and the correct answer is chromium and nickel chromium and nickel are the alloys of stainless steel and the next question is which of the following metals constitutes the alloy magnesium first of all you should know what is magnesium magnesium means it is a combination of magnesium and aluminum so here the correct answer is aluminum and magnesium because magnesium is a combination of aluminum and magnesium okay options are aluminum copper aluminum iron aluminum magnesium and aluminum manganese and option c aluminum and magnesium is correct next question one of the constituents of amalgam is so you have learned about amalgam in your textbook it options are aluminum copper iron and mercury and the correct answer is mercury next question the question german silver is an alloy of usually silver is found in its native state here it is given german silver german silver is an alloy of copper zinc and nickel and sometimes it also contain lead and tin in it okay so you should know basically silver is found in the native state so it's an extra question which i have been added here and the next question bronze is an alloy of options are tin 
ऑप्शन बी एल्यूमिनियम ऑप्शन सी जिंक एंड ऑप्शन टी लेड एंड द करेक्ट आंसर इज ब्रॉन्ज इज एन अलॉय ऑफ टिन एंड कॉपर यू मस्ट ऑल्सो एड द कॉपर हियर बिकॉज ब्रॉन्ज इज एन अलॉय ऑफ टिन एंड कॉपर एंड नेक्स्ट क्वेश्चन द चीफ ओर ऑफ एल्यूमिनियम इज ऑप्शन बॉक्साइट क्रायोलाइट एल्यूनाइट एंड फेट्सपार एंड द करेक्ट आंसर इज बॉक्साइट इज द चीफ ओर ऑफ एल्यूमिनियम क्वेश्चन नंबर सेवेंटी द फॉर्मूला ऑफ मैग्नेटाइट सी मैग्नेटाइट इज ऑल्सो कॉल्ड एज आयरन ऑक्साइड इट इज अ कॉमन नेम ओके कॉमन नेम इज आयरन ऑक्साइड एंड केमिकल नेम इज फेरिक ऑक्साइड सो मैग्नेटाइड इज ऑल्सो कॉल्ड एज फेरिक ऑक्साइड एंड इट्स फॉर्मूला इज एफ ई थ्री ओ फोर ओके होप यू फाउंड दिस वीडियो हेल्पफुल सो इन द नेक्स्ट वीडियो आई कम अप विद द लाइफ प्रोसेस लेसन Thank you so much for watching this video don't forget to share with your friends